keep working them, you're getting through the colours. Oh, keep going. Just add that to the uh, B roll. <laughs> come on, come on! Who wants it? Who wants it? It's a fish market. Someone's got it. Oh my getting filled. Holy shit! <laughs> Preston's buddy loaded up. Oh. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you're still connected? Same. Oh, okay, today here's a uh, quick a video walk around of this 2006 Sailfish 218 walk around console. Made in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, one of a kind, uh, I believe, in New Zealand. Um, so it started off uh, it's sitting on a alloy dual axle braked trailer made by a company called Rocket in, Uni in the United States. Uh, alloy is great because obviously not a lot of it rusts. It's sitting on these uh, carpet beds here. Um, I have had murmurings about uh, replacing the carpet on them, but it just seems to be working pretty well and they haven't fallen to bits. Um, a little bit of surface rust on the um, cross members there, or the axle uh, sort of cross member things. Um, nothing structural though. Uh, dual axle, as I say, and I replaced the wheel bearings uh, around about 18 months ago on those. Um, it's maximum width trailer, okay, it's right up to that 2.4 or 2.5 or whatever, so it's a big um, uh, boat to tow, um, certainly manageable, and uh, we just tow it with a, a 96 Land Cruiser Prado, uh, but the trailer's all pretty good, uh, and it's been rewired by myself, and uh, all, all works really well. I uh, got the spare, got a um, heavy duty uh, jockey wheel, and the brake system is all good and all working. Uh, it's got a pretty funky uh, winch system, a two gear, high and low ratio, and uh, I just trailer it around with this uh, ratchet on uh, just to pull the front down. Um, when it gets, I think when it gets a bit light and gas, that uh, the C of G goes backwards a bit. Uh, but it's just not, not to the point of falling off, it's only if you go over a bump it might uh, raise up a little. So the boat, uh, beautiful baby blue colour. Uh, Eve's pretty gutted to be seeing this thing going, but uh, beautiful lines on it. Nice, um, nice V hull, and as you can just see there, uh, it's got a variable dead rise throughout, and it just pierces through anything uh, that it comes across, really. A couple of vents here, um, just a fuel overflow vent, a breather, and various other ones, I'm not sure what those ones do. Um, there's the scuppers with a flooding deck at the back. Uh, dual trim tabs of course, which work well. And uh, I just use these heavy duty tie downs clipping on the back to hold her on. Uh, the Yummy 4 stroke 200 
I think this is the 3.4 litre V6 uh, F200 AET um, the specs of it and report are on the listing as well um, props all in good nick uh, I don't think there are any nicks on it at all no, it's all pretty good nick uh, that's the rear, uh, the trim tab anode, which uh, I've got a new one for. So um, the boat will either, or will come with it replaced. Um, these are trailering ram, Yamaha trailering ram, and steering lockouts, which is recommended by the manufacturer for uh, trailering. And all the maintenance. Um, items that have been done are available uh, with the exception is I had the trim power, t uh, power tilt motor looked at um, because there was an intermittent trim fault and they removed that um, cleaned it cleaned the brushes um, and uh, reinstalled and it was fine Uh, yeah, boarding ladder, which is uh, just a standard boarding ladder, but it's pretty good. Oh, up on board. Now I've installed uh, the seats, but it's actually got this little um, door here. So if you if you don't have the seats installed, which is 90% of the time when you're fishing, it's a nice little walkthrough uh, door with a magnetic latch. Uh, so when you're diving, you come in uh, nice and easy. Got to step over. Um, so starting, starting here. Yep, we've just got the uh, electrical switch. This is standard uh, with two batteries, which are located down here in the bilge. The bilge area. So we've got uh, a couple of batteries. Uh, great condition. Water filter. Uh, separator. Uh, we've got the um, fresh water and raw water wash down switches, seen a bit of use obviously, but they still do the job and they've just been um, serviced at Fidianga Marine. Um, nice, um, I mean the cushions overall, the condition could be better, but it is a boat that is um, 12 years old, so it's kind of commensurate with its age. And I will say that some of the, the buttonholes, um, I've CRC'd them on and off, but some of them, uh, especially on the other side, um, have come off. Um, and it probably would be a, probably would be something to look at, but it hasn't worried us. Um, you know, it hasn't interfered with anything, but it's kind of just a nice to do. Uh, good uh, three rod holder storage here on the side. Which is really handy, getting the rods out of the way along the side there. Ideally, if they don't have reels on them. Uh, part of the uh, sound system there, which is pretty mean. Uh, walking up the front, heaps of room to walk around. Um, you don't have to go sideways, just go straight up, fighting fish. It's all good. Uh, I installed a couple of these stainless steel uh, rod holders from West Marine in the States. Um, which you can take off and put it anywhere you want. They seem to work okay there though. Uh, up the front, this is a real good spot for uh, fighting fish. Caught a bunch of fish off here and uh, the rail is a nice height. Like I'm six foot three and uh, just comes up to your knee there. You can really get your foot in the, along the side there and really lean into it. So even if there's a bit of uh, wash around then uh, it's all good. Uh, there's gone his anchor max um, foot operated uh, anchor winches. And up front is the anchor well. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in there, heaps of anchor chain. I think there's maybe about 20 meters of anchor chain. It's pretty 
yeah, it's pretty useful. And uh, you certainly don't move when you're anchored overnight. Got another uh, rod holder here, which is uh, another good position. Uh, the forward hatch. And coming around. So up on the roof here, uh, GPS beacon. Uh, another GPS, I'm not sure actually, and VHF antenna four rocket launchers there at the back um, these clears are all in um, fairly good condition um, the next step I was going to take was to get them um, professionally cleaned and get all this aluminium all polished up to look all nice um, but all the zips are in all working condition all the buttons are all in working condition and uh, that's all you know um, all fine, they all slide out nice enough um, so that provides extra protection uh, you've got this glove box area up here this doesn't actually open but um, if you were wanting more storage it would be a great uh, spot to do it and sailfish certainly have a bunch of uh, options online to do that uh, got a Garmin radio here um, which works fine um, this uh, intercom line none of the actual core is damaged but the um, coating on the outside you know again just with the age it just gets a bit dry and brittle and uh, you know depending on whether you want to spend the money you could replace that or just use a bit of tape um, up to you uh, this light a switch here operates this deck light here which is nice and handy and that moves about uh, okay up front now I've got a compass here doesn't really do a whole lot to be honest and I've never used it I've got um, dual Garmin GPS map um, plotters here and I just run one on uh, on the sounder and one on the maps and it's got the New Zealand maps Finds the fish perfectly. Uh, we've got uh, uh, just some Yamaha instruments, as you'd expect. Uh, your um, trim tabs, single binnacle. Um, this is a super sweet steering wheel, um, and you can adjust it up and down as required uh, for whatever you want to do. And then you've got a bunch of uh, accessories here. So, um, horn, that's never worked, but the rest of the nav, the bilge, it's got auto bilge, which is pretty funny pulling it out of the bait, uh, out of the, um, out of the water sometimes, up the boat ramp. <laughs> People walking next to the boat just start spewing water on them. Um, deck lights, various accessories, and um, I'll just put this um, dual USB thing in there for your phones for charging, which is really handy. Um, just an access in here for the sorry, in here for the uh, behind the switches. Um, into the cuddy area, we've got uh, this uh, oh, outside um, control for the stereo system. Um, and here it is, the stereo uh, works really well. We've got four speakers in the back. There are two speakers up the front there, but they're actually not connected. And uh, never were from the previous owner either. Um, I have investigated it. Um, this has an external um, cord for your phones. Um, I was going to replace it, but it runs runs that standard headphone jack, which is not um, really available anymore on the uh, on the iPhones anyway. Um, this is pretty. This is pretty rugged to be honest, um, and I wouldn't count on it working. Um, what I was going to do is actually get a new head, head unit um, that would have Bluetooth functionality. Um, so this is the cuddy area, um, space for two people to sleep overnight. Um, we just had another foam topper mattress that went on top, and it worked really well. 
you know, it's not the Ritz, but um, it's certainly good fun. A couple of port windows and the front hatch and the latches have uh, removed themselves. Uh, this is a sort of hydraulic ram that locks off so you can open it and then do that up and then it will stay open. Uh, some good lighting in here. Uh, we've got a sink area which never gets used. Um, you used to have a porta potty that would go in here and then you have your little sink. But to be honest, we just never use that facility. Um, there is no porta potty with the boat. And we've got uh, just a couple of spares in here. Uh, it looks like some old spark plugs, which I'll take out in a second. And then access through here is into the um, into some fuel lines and that sort of thing. Um, cut, oh, that's my tool kit in there. Um, some of those spares will come with the boat, and those four red life jackets will come with the boat, but not the blue one. Got a fire extinguisher. Um, the EPIRB won't come with the boat either, I'll be taking that. But, um, you know, just, just a various, various sort of things. Uh, back out uh, and down the right hand side, uh, heaps of rod holders again, another three on this side. Um, all, lots of space to put your rods, there's no, there's no issue. And, um, Looks like some good opportunity to put some outriggers on the side there as well, which was which was uh, one of my plans. Um, again, here's the the seat under the seat. We've got uh, a whole bunch of storage in here. Okay, so we've got a couple of little fenders. Uh, they'll come with the boat. These are part of the cover um, and just various hoses and that sort of thing. Um, none of the safety equipment will come on board with it. The flares and that sort of thing, they'll go with me. Uh, in down the back here, so this is the carpet. Um, and you can you can remove the carpet or remove it to dry it. And it's got this um, grippy gel coat deck underneath. So you could run it without the carpet if you wanted, but it's kind of nice. Um, and an old chili bin that'll stay with the boat. The um, hinges are. Uh, broken on it doesn't stop it keeping stuff cold though. You know, I was just going to keep using it until it really broke down. A um, couple of ropes and that sort of thing. Um, trailering flag. Um, now, someone mentioned that they thought that this was um, had been covered up. Um, now, I don't think that is actually true after looking at the um, Sailfish owner's manual. That's actually how they um, come. It does look weird though. Um, but uh, if you look at the Sailfish owner's manual that I put up on the on the site, um, it's actually exactly the same. Uh, back here, this is the, uh, the bait board, and that uh, is just sitting in those rod holders there. That comes out, so um, you don't need it. Oh, we don't fish with bait on the boat, never have, but um, good for rigging up liveys and and that sort of thing on, on there. Uh, it's got the drain hole here and it just sort of drains away down into that area to the splash well. Our live bait tank, this is really the pierce de la resistance if there is one. Um, and funnily enough someone has done a repair on the aerator for the tank so it comes off there it used to sit on there but it came off and we were about to fix it we actually found out that it runs a lot better without it you can... oh, well just stick the plug in here it just sits there and you and fills up relatively fast and you get around about 35 jack mackerel in there um it'll keep uh, kaha wire alive as well for a while um, probably not all day, and certainly bigger ones won't do too well in there. Uh, we talked about the wash down just before, and uh, so here's the freshwater wash down nozzle, 
um, and that's connected to a tank which has uh, 40 litres of uh, capacity and, and there's the hose for the uh, raw water wash down which is connected into there um, so uh, just as an overview one of the greatest things I love I love about this boat uh, is fighting fish these nice high gunnels um, especially with me up at 6'3 six, 6'3 three, six uh, you can really lean into these gunnels here and uh, nice and nice and wide for fighting fish the boat doesn't list like anything um, I've been in before been on Surtees um, and Stabies and this um, is probably equivalent to a Staber craft um, and uh, just being quite heavy um, it just sits, sits real nice uh, super nice wide gunnels uh, also uh, make it easy for diving, sitting on the side, um, etc. So that's about it. And just sort of add on a quick uh, tour undercover of the motor. Uh, it's just sprayed regularly um, with inox to keep it all clear. Um, and I'll take the spark cover, spark plug cover off regularly and wipe down, wipe off any salt deposits and get rid of them. Uh, it's all in uh, pretty decent neck. And the top. The top is all good. And the last part is the cover that I got made um, in the States for this boat. Uh, it's made specific to the um, to this design of sailfish. Um, and it's that kind of Sun Umbra type um, fabric, so it's super hardy. It's two years old um, and just gets a bit of wet and forget every now and then. Um, but it sits nice and tight, it's got some pretty heavy duty tie downs holding it on. Uh, a couple of poles up in the top there sit in the rocket launchers and it just holds the uh, cover off the off the T-top. Uh, yeah, it's bloody good cover. No water gets in. You can just enter through the side. Uh, but it's not for trailering. It's only uh, for uh, parked up.